Yeah. I mean, you know, Mad Money's a show about stocks, but sometimes you want to know the future, what, what holds for the public traded companies. You need to check in with the privately held startups, the ones that are coming up with truly revolutionary new technologies. Take a company called Polaroid Swing. Remember that name, Polaroid? Partnership with the old iconic Polaroid brand, twice bankrupt, but a fresh-faced tech startup called Swing that's trying to reinvent photography for the mobile era has latched onto the Polaroid name. I got a chance to sit down with Tommy Stadlin, the co-founder of Swing, to learn more about his potentially game-changing app. Take a look. All right, Tommy, explain to me the concept behind Polaroid Swing. What was your inspiration here? So this very much started with the brand, Polaroid. And we felt if we could combine the design heritage, the iconic brand of Polaroid, with pioneering photo technology, we could do something special. And our initial product is Polaroid Swing. What it does, it allows you to capture one second moments that you can then reach into your iPhone, swing it backwards and forwards, and bring it to life. All right, so like we did our selfie. That's we did. Together, that's kind of one of the, that's only one of many things that Polaroid Swing does, right though? Absolutely. So if you think about your most sort of special memories, uh, any moment in your day, we, we think that the human brain doesn't mem remember the world in stills or in videos. You think about life in these short moments. And now for the first time, this technology allows you to capture those moments. So it captures life more faithfully. OK, so let's focus on the name Polaroid for a second. When I was growing up, obviously, we had all had Polaroids. And then the company went bankrupt. You believe that it's an iconic enough name that my 22-year-old will know it? Totally. Polaroid has an emotional connection with billions Even of people around younger, the world. How? How did it stay alive? Well, Taylor Swift brought out her album a couple of years ago, right. and on that album, the front cover was a Polaroid picture. Now, it didn't say Polaroid anywhere, but instinctively you knew it, that iconic white border. And I think that really reintroduced the brand to a whole set of younger audience here in the, U the US, but also around the world. So how many people are using, uh, downloading the app? It's on, it's on the iPhone, right? That's right. So it's available on the App Store. We launched it in public beta a couple of months ago. Okay. And this was meant to be just a trial to test the waters. But then Apple got hold of it and launched it as the number one featured app on the App Store. And from there, we had to really struggle to keep the servers up. We did it. But we've had exponential growth since then. Okay. Uh, I guess it's a private company. You don't have to tell me how many you have yet. But uh, is it growing by every day? Uh, do you have hundreds, thousands, ten thousands? Yeah, it grows exponentially every day. Okay. Um, and so the, the numbers are really quite large now. We're about to launch in 50 different markets next month, uh, which is really exciting. Right, so how are you going to make money? Because I mean, it's a private company, but one day maybe people want a piece of it. But how do you monetize it? So one thing that we found, as soon as we launched, we had a lot of calls every day from brands because brands figured out very quickly that this media... From brand, you mean like consumer packaged goods companies? Consumer brands, sports brands, media entertainment, because they figured out this medium, the Polaroid Swing medium, is five times more engaging than a still photograph, for obvious what? reasons. Because of the, the thing that we showed on the selfie? We're back sure, and forth? because you linger on it, you want to spend time on it, right. you want to touch it, and that's very compelling to brands. The other thing that they figured out, there's something called the endowment effect, which means if you go into a store and you touch a pair of jeans, once you touch it, you will be willing to pay 60% more for that pair of jeans. The same thing is true on a smartphone. Once you start touching a product and interacting with it, you value it much more highly. So we think this can really transform the, the media world, the advertising world, as well as the consumer world. Okay, well, Snapchat's pretty hot, Instagram. I mean, it, these are really big competitors. How do you stay in their league? The big thing for us right now is allowing people to create amazing creative content that they can share to their existing So it's not zero audiences. sum. You could be Instagram, you could be Instagram, Polaroid Swing. I think that's totally right. I think people are sharing over 3 billion uh, photos every day now. Right. It's crazy. So if we can help people create better content for their Instagram account, for their Snapchat account, that's, that's the way it starts. But then eventually we are growing an emerging social platform ourselves. All right, 50 countries. So in other words, you're telling me Polaroid is not just an American, a British everywhere. We're really excited. We're going to be going to, to Japan. We're going to be going to Korea. And the Polaroid brand means so much to people in those markets, just like it does here in the US. Well, I've got to tell you, it is, I mean, to me, it's exciting to use. Uh, I'm trying to figure out whether really young, what's the youngest people who are doing this? So our chairman, Biz Stone, he uses it with his kids and they love it as well. Perfect. That's Tommy Stadlin. He's the co-founder of the app Polaroid Swing, which I have to admit, I thought was pretty cool. Man, money's back after the break. Booyah! Jim Cramer here from Mad Money. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube. Click here to subscribe and get the jump on my exclusives with CEOs, plus market news, investing advice, and a whole lot more.